Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here at the corporate headquarters of AutoShine. AutoShine is located in uh, Pensacola, Florida, and they sell car care products primarily to dealers and to detailers. So they've got a line of uh, high quality and pretty much uh, high end uh, cleaning products for just about any aspect of car automotive care. They've allowed me to come into uh, one corner of their warehouse here and do a little work. Now in physics, work takes on an interesting uh, tone to it. Work is a very specific concept in physics. For instance, me leaning against this, I'm not really doing any work. Work is defined as the amount of force you apply times the distance through which you've applied that force. Now, obviously, I'm pushing on these boxes. I'm leaning on them. I'm applying a force. They're applying a force back, action, reaction. But we're not traveling through a distance. So no work is being done. And if uh, the owner of AutoShine comes and finds me, he's going to make the same observation. No work is being done. So what I need to do is to take a force and to move it through a distance. Well, we're in the warehouse and, and the idea is to stock some of the shelves. And so uh, the distance is going to be from the ground here up to the shelf where I've got to stock it. So let's measure that distance. I've got me a meter stick and it's one meter. Uh, let's make life easier and call it two meters even. So the distance through which I have to lift this product is going to be two meters. And if I take, uh, well, let me get down and uh, here we go. We've got uh, the New Wave All-Purpose Cleaner. Uh, and this is for uh, cleaning tires and uh, getting the, the uh, stuff off the wheels, the brake dust and stuff off the wheels. And uh, it has a mass of about one kilogram. So uh, if its mass is one kilogram, if I lift it, I have to overcome the pull of gravity, trying to pull it back to the floor. And so I have to apply an upward force equal to its weight. Weight is m times g, mass times acceleration due to gravity. So if this is one kilogram, it would give it a weight of 9.8 newtons. And now if I lift this 9.8 newtons, two meters in the air, I've just done some work. I've done work on this product. That work is equal to the weight, 9.8 newtons, times the distance, which we're going to call 2 meters. So let's see, 9.8 is uh, 19.6 uh, newton times meters, newton meters. We're going to call a newton meter a joule. And we're going to do work in units of joules. So there, I just did some work. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with myself. It's early in the morning and I'm working already. All right, what else have they got for me? Huh, look at this. They've got these five gallon containers of this stuff. This has got to be 25 kilograms. How much weight is that? I'm not, I don't know if I can get it up to two meters up there. Oh, I'm sure I could. But, well, go ahead and do the math. I'll hold this and wait. Go ahead, do the math. Ah. <clears throat> well, that's a lot of work. I've done some work here. I deserve a break. But look at all the stuff that has to be stocked. This has got to all come up here. So I've got to lift this and do this amount of work many, many, many times. I've got to lift it, lift it, lift it. I've got to do a lot of them. It takes a lot of work to do this. Well, now all of a sudden, another factor comes into play, and that factor is power. Power in physics, power anywhere, uh, is the amount of work you do divided by the time it took you. So let's see, if the units of work is the joule, time of course would be seconds, a joule per second is the unit of power. And the joule per second is a, a very common unit, it's the watt. Just like in the light bulbs, a 100 watt light bulb, that's 100 joules per second. And it's the amount of work you do divided by the time it took you. So this product comes in gallon jugs and uh, we got to stock the shelves and do stuff like that. It's about four kilograms here. Now, many of the people that AutoShine sells to you goes through lots and lots of this stuff. So gallon jugs are no longer efficient. Now they've got to use 55 gallon barrels 
There's no way in the world. This thing is 500 pounds. It's, 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 well, let's see, four times 55. That's how many kilograms it would be. So, so these things are, are massive. I can't, I cannot exert enough force even to lift this at all. I don't, I don't think I could barely even slide it. I could roll it, which is a new technique. So the question is, how am I going to stock these? Well, the answer is, they don't. They don't put these things on shelves. They keep them on the ground. But they've got to get them off of a truck. And eventually when they deliver them, they've got to put them back on a truck. So I've got to lift this at least a meter in the air to get it onto the bed of a delivery truck. How am I going to do that? I do not have enough power to accomplish that. I would have to break it into gallon jugs. Pour it off into gallon jugs and put it on top and then and do it one gallon at a time, two, five, ten gallons at a time. But I can't do 55 gallons at a time. I need something with more power. We're doing the work all at once. Saving time is taking power. Lots and lots of power. We've lifted it the distance, and we did it in just a short amount of time, which will appear on the bottom of your screen. So the amount of work we did was 166 gallons times uh, 4 kilograms per gallon times 9.8 meters per second squared times 1.3 meters. Figure out how much work we did. We did it in the amount of time we recorded calculate how much power was exerted to do that task. Physics is so much fun. Thank you, Joe. That was great. You're welcome. I'm here with uh, the owner of AutoShine, uh, Joe Nettleton. Joe's an old friend of mine um, from back when we both had hair. Old. Very old. <laughs> <laughs> I remember back when I, I remember. fondly. Uh, you still save us a little bit around the edges. Yes. At any rate, uh, uh, how do I do it? Do I do a you good did work? A great job. Great job? Good job. You can hire me to put stuff anytime. on your shelves anytime? Anytime. That'd be great. How many of these things do you go through in a year? Oh, I have no idea. A bunch. A bunch? Yeah. And it's taken mostly off of trucks. Yeah. And yeah. they wanted to charge you 300 bucks for every time they, they did that for you. Delivered them, yes. They delivered them. So by getting this uh, forklift, you were able to... Do it for free. Well, yeah, but it ended up paying for itself because Correct. none of you guys were powerful enough to pull these off the truck yourselves. N nope. But Could that do does. That does it. Machinery. Isn't it fun? It's, it's our friend until it takes over.